Hello everyone and welcome back into our Deity Every Leader Challenge as Korea. We are here, we are sciencing it up, we are not, we are uncultured swine. At this point, you'll notice the change in t-shirt, it's a new day for me. For you guys, these come out every day, but for me, it's a new day. Um, we're live on twitch.tv slash vanbradley. If you want to come see us live, I recommend heading over to the link in the description. Otherwise, current plans, generally speaking for the game, um, pump up these culture numbers as high as we can get them to get to democracy. I'll show you why when we get there. But we're going to do typical democracy trade with an ally stuff. Um, in the From Daegu, the Ruhr Valley City, I'm going to buy a coal factory here or a coal power plant here to speed this up a little bit and to get extra boosts in Daegu. We have all this coal we're collecting and we're not going to use it for a military, so we will buy a coal power plant to get going there. Um, that will that will pollute the earth, I know. Um, I'm not that concerned. We're going to build another settler probably in Busan quick, just anywhere we can get another settler quick. I want to settle a city up here for more coal. Uh, maybe grab this niter just in case, but mostly just to put another Siawan down. Maybe settle a city down here as well. Anywhere where we can get more Siawans is better than not having them, right? And so we'll try our best to do that. I think that fish is a fair, or the crabs is a fair um, use of our builder. Up here, this amphitheater's got to go down right away. That'll be a plus four amphitheater, so that'll be super helpful. Let's grab this coal power plant. That'll cost 1,200. And that's going to boost everything in the city next turn, which is super duper nice. And we're just going to head straight for democracy. It's the next thing we need to get. Where does that take us through? Are we boosted along the way? We're boosted for actually a good portion along the way. It's just kind of taking us through everywhere. I think we're going to want to stop at Opera and Ballet, though. Hmm. Maybe this isn't the best to just go straight there. We want the Enlightenment, but we're getting there anyway. We'll head to the Enlightenment, and then we'll decide where we want to go, because I might want to stop in an opera and ballet, depending on how things are going. I'm not certain if that's what I want to do. How long for a settler? Eight turns for a settler. That is perfect. It's nice and close by. Let's move Magnus up there, so we don't lose that population. Where is Magnus? There we go. You're heading to Busan, mate. Have fun. Enjoy the flight. Five turns. That's brilliant stuff. And then we're going to have to start getting our trade routes from Daegu just to practice. Just to practice for when democracy hits. Yeah, that took it down to 14. And now how much science are we getting from here? Plus four. How much extra science are we getting? That's all I want to know. Plus five from modifiers? Is that what power is? Is that what power is? Is a modifier? I'm not actually sure. I haven't really ever checked exactly how much I'm getting from powered versus unpowered. I guess it tells you. If you go to the buildings, it'll tell you. What do we want to do with this builder? I want to be super efficient with these builders. We probably want to put a district here. Do we have any more resources we need? Throw a mine. Oh, you want to throw a mine here as well to get this um, industrial zone to a plus one. Or another plus one. That makes sense to me. I'm just going to keep exploring with this guy. He's doing great as a little scout for us. I don't know what he's meant to be doing, but I think scouting makes sense. We've already circumnavigated. Duplicates grant amenities. What do we have lots of? We have lots of mercury. Let's vote for that. I'm going to sell my Diplo favor. I'm going to sell my Diplo favor, so I don't want to spend it on this stuff unless I need to. Honey gets no amenities. I don't think we have any honey. And Matthias gets 100% more grievances. That's fine. I think that's all right. I don't think that's a big deal. 157, that's probably time to sell it. Let's sell a little bit to Russia. He usually gives us a good price. Hmm. I kind of want to split it up. 40, what do you want for 40? 10, that's probably fine. And then maybe go to Matthias. Maybe these guys will be a little happier with us if we're giving them good deals. 10 as well, yeah, that's fine. There we go. There we go, up 20 gold per turn. I think we take this. We have to be really careful to make sure we don't miss the great scientists and great engineers we actually want. But getting some boost along the way to rocketry is really helpful. Yeah, I think we skip the great scientists, like this one and get the next one there. Great engineer, we have to be really careful and make sure we get the one 11. So we're ahead in great engineer points too. We have to make sure we get the one 
and that gives us extra space race project production. It's very, very important that we do that. How much are we getting for power here? Oh, we're only consuming one for power, and we're getting nine per turn. You can build a coal power plant then. That's fine. I'm going to use the rest of my cash here to buy amphitheaters in these places here and art museums. Because we just need to pump up that culture number by any means necessary. And the best way to do that for us is going to be to get great writers. That's maybe something we can do is use our Diplo favor to buy some great some works of writing. Big John! <laughs> hello. Hello, hello. Definitely, we're still producing that settler. Four turns on that settler. I'm going to buy the amphitheater, but just one second here. All right. You definitely want to grab industrial zone adjacency bonuses. That's probably worth more than the gold. It sucks that we're still building one more settler. Plus two golds from trade routes is nothing right now, so we'll do that. We don't have a lot of commercial hubs. So I'm fine without town charters. No, Bose! Bose, what's up? You're just in time for a Korea game. Oh Thank God, you. okay, people are following stuff. Just give me one second, you guys. Give me one minute, I gotta sort this out. I think this all looks good. Uh, everything's I think under this control. is fine. Situation normal. I think this is fine, all right. Bose's crew, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming over. Bose, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate you. I really enjoyed your stream today. Um, everyone who was in that multiplayer game, that was super fun to watch. I was finally able to tune in for a couple hours today, which was awesome. If you're new to the channel here, we play a lot of deity uh, civilization. We're doing an every leader challenge, which is very similar to a lot of other streamers like A to Z challenges or whatever it is. We just do the civs in a random order to keep it a little bit fresh. We're currently playing as Korea, kind of cruising away into a science victory, trying to pump our culture numbers up, trying to finish our Ruhr Valley. Typical sciencey stuff that you might be used to. Otherwise, bows. Thank you for the tier one sub. I appreciate you. I'm glad you're having fun here. There's so many <laughs> spam emotes in the chat, which is awesome. Firehammer, thank you so much for joining the clan. You have a lot of faith in Bose that he rated someone that you're going to want to follow. So I appreciate that, Firehammer. Uh, yeah, Korea number one. Exactly. Korea's great. Korea's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Let's head and, and get back into this game though. We're building our final settler here to get a few more resources so we can power everything up. Otherwise, we're kind of just cruising along. The only other threat to us is Maya, but she's got 215 uh, science, but she's not getting a lot of great scientist points. We're at 25, she's at nine, right? So we're ahead in the great science points race. Um, we're gonna buy amphitheaters though. We're certainly buying amphitheaters to get some great writers as quickly as possible. We're going to have to buy some from Russia, too. Getting dra dragged around the Civ community. I remember that one day that was really funny where people started with the game mechanic and went through like five different streams by the time they ended. Um, it was either Peppermint Butler's stream or my stream, but it was very, very funny. Well, I hope, T-Chill, I hope you have fun here. If you, were, if you were looking forward to bows, that might be a little disappointing. But I hope if you like Civ, at least it's Civ. You're on the same, like, the same the same game. That's where we're at. So hopefully you have a good time here. I want to build this Siouan. I think you just build it on the hills out here. It's not next to anything. More Siouans is better than fewer Siouans. There's nothing else really to build in this city. I'm not a fan that it takes so long to build, but I think we just build it anyway. I think that's fine. You're still terrible at the game, so at least you can learn. Hopefully you do learn. Hopefully you do learn. Hopefully um, you find this stream useful. Also, there's a lot of people in chat that are always very helpful. Uh, how many great writer points per turn do we have? We're going to need to bump those numbers up. I just need to know if I'm spending this 100 Diplo favor on two great works of writing. I think I might as well from Russia anyway, because that's going to be our first amphitheater. So let's buy two great works of writing just to pump our culture numbers up. Will he do it for 98? Sometimes he does it for like 40. Hmm. 98 and two for 30, that's fine. I just need to get those culture numbers up. All right, can we go into indoctrination? Nope, we cannot. We wanted Victor into defense logistics. 
Pink Gala will give us, what is that, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15% science in this city, which is generating a lot of science. I think we do that first. We don't need space initiative right now, but I think that extra science makes a lot of sense here in Daegu. <laughs> Most of these guys think they are still... Dude, okay, look, I am terrible at this game. Everyone is terrible at Civ in their own way. I put a freaking commercial up next to my Siowon. It's the one rule of Siowans is to not put districts next to them. Is the first thing I did in this city. Let's put a... You're just always learning and you're always going to make mistakes. Those two things never stop happening. So we need to be careful. So when you're doing a science victory, there are certain great scientists you want that give us extra space race stuff and certain great engineers that do the same. So you have to be really careful that if you take this great engineer that it's worth it because then you might end up in a situation where someone else gets the next one, which is the one you want. Triggers the Eureka moment for one random tech. Workshops provide plus one culture. That's fairly helpful. We have 11. He has four. I think we'll be able to lap back up enough where we can use gold if the next one's one we want. Yeah, see, this sucks. We don't need this. Okay, perfect. We made a good choice. We don't need that one. So we'll just hop into here, grab a little bit of extra culture. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's all good, Firehammer. It's all good. Everyone, every single person makes mistakes in every single game of Civ. Nobody's perfect. And you're always learning. You're always learning. I really hope this River Valley doesn't get sniped. I will cry forever and ever and ever. I don't think it will. We got it as fast as we could. Gilded Vault feels really good. I still think I like... We need to buy this tile so we can put an amphitheater there. Or a theater square. That's plus four, baby. Look at that. In between the Petra and the pyramids. Killing the game. <laughs> You're def not good at Sipsy. -sip. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, this mine here is going to give plus one to this industrial zone. So we're definitely going to throw that down there. What is that one now? Plus five. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. We're building a... Yeah, the coal plant goes here to kind of power everything down on this side of the map. I think that's fine. I think this will be our last settler. I just want this coal for the power plants. And one more CO1. I mean, I suppose if settlers are going to be cheap to build, you can come down on the river here, get niter, coal, and a bunch of hills. Like, this could be a high production city as well. Is it worth... So you think it takes like 10 turns to build your settler, 10 turns to walk it down here. That's 20 turns. That's turn 175. It's to set up your city. You don't get the industrial zone there till turn 200. I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. You get trolled by barbs for 50 or 60 turns. <laughs> that happens all the time. You've let barbs steal your... Yeah, you got to protect your settlers. You got to protect your settlers. It's always good to know that barbs cannot take your capital city, though. Oftentimes, if they discover my capital city, I just won't care as much. Right? They can't take the capital city, so I'll just not really mind. Right? If they want to keep hitting the capital city, that is that is their prerogative. You don't typically start using builders till like at least turn 50 or 60, and that's pretty early in most games. And so there's nothing for them to pillage. They're just hanging out. Do we have an industrial zone here? No. Bing Ben would be nice, but not at all necessary. Four turn builders feel pretty good. We don't have too much to build. Our populations are going up, but I think we're good this second. I think you'd probably go for this stock exchange. Monument. Go for the monument quick and then the stock exchange. You <laughs> let barbs. We had a really funny barb city raise. It's on Twitter. We had a very, very funny Barb City raise where we settled this city with like four population. We had that card in, the Golden Age card or whatever, where you can settle. And we like came all the way down here, settled the city, and didn't notice a Barb camp over here because it was in the fog of war. And they just rolled up with like bombards and cavalry units and just murdered us. It was very, very funny. It was very, very funny. Who's at war with us now? Matthias again? Why? Mate. What are you doing, Matthias? Who else are you at war with? You're getting smashed by so- Oh. 
At this point, Matthias is just trolling us. He's like, okay, well, I'm at war with these guys. I might, have, might as well be at war with everyone else. That's impressive. Maya is taking a lot of cities, which is... It's not ideal because her science numbers are real high. The good thing is the AI is dead stupid once they launch all their science projects. Like, they're not good at managing their light years and whatnot. I don't know if that's been fixed. I haven't done a science game in a while. I, I think I'll skip this great scientist and this great engineer and get the one after it just to see. You just want to make sure. I don't think I need to chop this for any particular reason. I'd rather just put a lumber mill on it. I'm not going to move Magnus down here, I don't think, for a while yet. We can get rid of this. We don't really want to put anything next to the CO on, though. So you can probably put a lumber or a camp on that as well. Yeah, Scouty Boy, you just keep scouting. You're doing great, my guy. You're doing fantastic. Yeah, he's at war with everyone, and he's losing. He's not doing a very good job. A he's not doing a good job of being at war with everyone. All right, we can get the Settler card out of here. Au revoir. Theta Square Adjacency will feel good after we get the one up by the Petrol. That's five turns, though. That's five turns, so I think theater Square Adjacency can probably go in until Rationalism comes in. I really like Republican Legacy. It's helping us keep amenities. We're definitely going to want Whistlebank in. Do I want Whistlebank in instead? Nah, because I think Democracy already gives us that boost. Democracy is giving us like a better Whistlebank in. But, like, they, they track on each other, so you can use both. I think getting Whistlebank in beforehand really kind of helps us set up all the trade routes in Daigu. None of these are really that appealing to me either. Housing in one amenity is very nice, though. Especially with the new amenity changes. I'm feeling better about Republican Legacy than I ever have before. How much gold is this for all of our envoys? I think it's worth putting Whistlebanking in. Yeah, it's like 10 gold. It's not ideal, but I think that's fine. And then we have to get... These three trade out 6, 9, and 11 turns. We're going to move them up from Daigu to trade with our allies. And that'll give us production and food in Daigu, which is exactly what you want. You had to recruit Liang for your cat next to a volcano. But it was great to play your first multiplayer game with bows. That's exciting. I have never played a multiplayer game of Civ 6. Oxford University. Has anyone else built that? I'll build that. I will build that. I don't mind. See, I don't really think the Great Library is worth it. Especially on Deity, you just don't ever get it. I like the Great Worker writing slots. I like the scientist points per turn. The only problem is 20% science in this city is not a lot. You'd rather build it in a city that has more science. Like 40, that's double. Yeah, you get double the benefit from building it here. We don't have a C oh, we do have a CO on here though. Where do you need to place this? Can we even? Grassland or plains adjacent to a campus with a university. Well, you could throw it on the rice. You could throw it on the rice and just put a few farms down here. It's not ideal, but it's doable. Yeah, I won't build it down here. I don't think that's worth it. I'll grab the one-turn monument. I had to choose between 24-hour Le Mans or Civ 6. I hope you're happy. I'm happy. I'm very happy. I'm very I hope you're happy. You're the one who had to make a tough choice. I hope you're happy. I'm, I'm ecstatic. I couldn't be happier, mate. Let's go. I kind of want to put a mine here for the plus one science as well. I don't want to buy that tile, though. I think a commercial up here makes a lot of sense. More trade routes, the better. Especially when we're getting democracy.
Now, where do we want to settle this? We spent all this time planning this city and didn't pick a spot to settle it. This is a pretty boppin' harbor to get a trade route there. Settle here. You get the niter and the coal. I don't want the iron. I don't care about this niter. Maybe you just settle here to get the really good harbor. That'll flood, which isn't ideal either. Blood barrier? Hmm. I'm gonna do that anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway. All I want to do is collect the resources. I think you put the, um... Yeah, you put your CO1 right here. You don't want to put the CO1 next to the harbor, though. Damn. Well, now we've messed ourselves up, haven't we? Should have checked this. I tell you, y'all make mistakes. Now we put the CO on here. It's the only hill. And then you put the harbor here and ruin the CO on. Well, you don't ruin it. It's just not as good. Really, Vatican City? You're going to attack me. The Vatican City is now in the business of attacking people. Yeah, you know what? Get out of here, mate. How dare the Vatican attack us? Oh, they're going to take my builder. How dare they? This is a crime against the clan, all right, Vatican? You're meant to be nice. Uh, we definitely want to build the spy where Victor is. Now, does Victor have his third promotion? He doesn't, right? Oh, man, he does not. So if Victor has Embrasure, you can get a spy with a free promotion where Victor is. We're not getting that governor title anytime soon. I think we just build the spy anyway. It's a pretty quick spy. I think that's fine. We definitely want the coal for more power plants. Yeah, then you just build the Siwan. We need to buy this tile though. We'll build the Siwan for now, and then we'll worry about the harbor later. But the Siwan is why we're here. The Siwan is why we are here. One turn into Ruhr Valley. We should get a builder to get all of these mines to make sure all the mines are in the city. Yeah, we want to swap this. We want to swap this. Any mine tile we can get, we want to swap to the Ruhr Valley city. I mean, I don't know if this is a good idea, mate. We got a Hawacha now. Yeah, that was pretty dumb. That was not very smart. All right, well, that guy's done. That's exciting. Good work, team. <laughs> Cost 300 gold, but not a bad effort. Stock exchanges. I think we just get a builder to work around this volcano. Lots of good tiles there. I don't really want to buy the builder, but we might have to just to make the most of the river valley as soon as possible. The industrial there we go. We've done it. Practically stopped We've done it. Worked. Hardly so the Ruhr Valley is a huge boost in any science game. The play you want to make... To we'll wait for this animation. It's a beautiful animation. We haven't built this in a while. The play you want to make is to find a good Ruhr Valley city, put a bunch of mines in it to pump up your Ruhr Valley production. So now we're at 82. Then you get democracy and or whistlebanking. I don't know if people usually do it with whistlebanking. We're going to try it. I don't usually do it with whistlebanking, but whatever. And then all of your trade routes to your allies give you bonus production and food. So this city just keeps growing and keeps producing. And this is where you do all your space projects. You obviously need more than one spaceport at the end to launch all the what's it called? The light your projects. Right, but this is kind of the play we're going for. Fire hammer, it'll kill me to play it. All right, we're, we're not quite close to 100 subs yet, but it's just dangling. I'm gonna leave it, it's just dangling. Whenever we get close, people can be like, ooh, I'll throw a sub in for that. It's just dangling, it's going to destroy my soul. It's gonna be like the Dementors in Harry Potter, man. I go for the intelligence agency this game. You wanna be able to protect your spaceports. They're like the Dementors in Harry Potter to me. I'm gonna like have no soul by the end of it. It's gonna be terrible. Oh, I'm still at war, I shouldn't have done that. All right, now he's definitely taking my builder. We'll just get it back. Yo! <laughs> Fire hammer. <laughs> Fire hammer. I'm glad you're having a good time. Thanks for the sub, mate. 
I appreciate you. Enjoy the emotes. Enjoy the subsection of the Discord. Enjoy that cool badge next to your name. Just enjoy being part of the clan, really. Enjoy being part of the clan. I appreciate you. We're at 68. If anyone wants to be funny and make it 69. We were at 69 like two weeks ago as well. That was really funny. One day we will get to 100. One day we shall face 21 Eleanors or whatever the math is. And I will cry very much on that day. I will cry on live television. Um, we are going to get this golden age. That's a little bit of a surprise. I don't want to move to this tile because then Vatican City can attack my Huacha. And I'd rather that just be safe. Might as well get Garrison on this unit and put it in a city somewhere. That way if the enemy does come again, we can just beat them. I'll throw this camp down. That is a weird way for the icons to overlap, but that's fine. That's fine. I can't believe this city worked. I think a smarter me would have settled more cities. I think a smarter me, with all the production we have, would build two more settlers real fast in Daigu. And just y y yoink them over to uh, these areas just to get more CO ones. We're going to hit this golden age. That's pretty impressive. So let's start six turns. Let's start doing some era score management to not go too far over. Uh, definitely the amphitheater over the university for now. We have lots of science. We don't have lots of culture. And getting getting a high level of science without the culture is pretty pointless. They kind of come part and parcel until you get to democracy. You kind of need them both together. Yeah, let's make sure we don't overdo it. So we got our first spy. You know what? I think this is a great point to leave the video off for YouTube. If you're hanging out on Twitch, don't go anywhere. We're still playing. We're still sticking around. Don't you worry. If you're hanging out on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. We have a few alliances we have to put back together. We have a few units we got to move. We got, we got some things we got to do. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, though, like and subscribe button are wherever they are. So click those buttons, and that way other people can find the videos, and you know when they get posted. So that's awesome. In the description, there's links to Twitch, where we're live right now, Twitter, and Discord. As always, let me know what you thought in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.